tents are still standing strong at the main lawn of Columbia University, the epicenter of the student protest movement. Negotiations with the school have been underway since Friday, but its student group says talks have hit an impasse. At the heart of this action, at the heart of this encampment, is the wish for a complete divestment and boycott of institutions that are complicit in Israel's genocide. Despite this, the university has proposed only further engagement with the apartheid state. Last Thursday, Colombia summoned NYPD to dismantle the mobilizations, a decision that sparked a wildfire of protests at colleges across the country. Hundreds have been arrested at numerous universities since. What started with just a few dozen protesters, transforming into a nationwide movement. From NYU, Emory University and Yale, spreading all the way to the West Coast. We're here once again, um, fighting for our demands, for divestment, for justice for the Palestinian people, and for safety of the Palestinian students in, at Stanford and around Stanford. The protesters are demanding their schools to cut financial ties to Israel and divest from companies they say are enabling the conflict. And the movement shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon. Students say they won't stop until their voices are heard.